So now we're going to work on a conductance problem. And we're going to have convection at one end. We're going to look at through is conduction through a plane wall. And this wall basically works infinitely in, in these directions. And we're just going to have convection here um, to the fluid. So node 5 here uh, that interacts with that fluid. Um, again, four elements, five nodes, and we're going to develop our, our matrix here. All right. So here's the general form of the stiffness matrix for a thermal case. So we have, again, the conduction. We have convection um, to the, from the uh, outer surfaces. Um, maybe, say, the, at least in the thin case, it was the horizontal surfaces. And then this would be the convection at the tip. All right. So in this case, we're in a plane wall. So we don't have any convection at all. So we don't have to worry about either of those terms for uh, the first three elements. So there's element one, two, and three. So those don't have any convection at all. At uh, element four, we do have convection. Right? So we do have to include convection. And it's convection from the essentially the tip of the wall. So we just have the, the tip um, convection term. And that's only at node J. So then we have zeros for the two node I's in element four. All right. So again, all those cases, we're going to assume the area is one. Uh, for the forcing function, again, we have uh, convection from the uh, surfaces, so the perimeter of our wall, but that's an infinite wall, so we, we're going to ignore this term. And we also have convection from the tip, uh, but we have the tip in one case. So for the first three elements, those are all zero. But for the fourth element, we're going to include just the tip, right? because we have the outer surface that of the wall that interacts with the fluid. All right, so we're going to assemble our global stiffness matrix. So again, here's uh, where we're going to put all of our stiffness matrices together globally. Uh, we have all our temperatures here. And our boundary conditions say we got temperature at the surface going to be defined at node 1. All right. So it's going to be defined there. And then at node 5, we have this boundary condition where we have the HA times TF. So we have the um, convection uh, boundary condition that's uh, driving the um, heat transfer out of the wall. All 